Good morning, everyone. My name is Nate, and I'm the Cucumber Trial Manager here at Johnny's Selected Seeds. I'm standing here in my field cucumber trial, uh, which, as you can see, is quite extensive. Every year, I trial well over 100 varieties from all over the world uh, here at our research farm in Albion, Maine. I want to see how those varieties perform in our growing conditions and our growing environment. Um, in addition to that, I often place varieties that we're particularly interested in with our partner growers in different parts of the country in order to get a sense of how they perform in different growing environments that our customers might be in. Today, I wanted to take a moment to talk about a pretty pernicious cucumber disease that we get here in the Northeast and along the East Coast generally called cucumber downy mildew. Johnny's offers a few varieties that have a strong resistance to it, which is what I hope to highlight in our video today. Here in the Northeast, cucurbit downy mildew is a pretty major problem for a lot of growers, both farmers and home gardeners. Uh, as far north as we are here in Maine, it doesn't actually overwinter, but blows up on storms over the course of the season. It was a disease that used to be here every few years, but as the climate has changed and gotten warmer, I've actually seen it here in the cucumber trial for the last five years in a row, and it seems to be something that unfortunately is here to stay. In terms of identifying the disease, that you can see as the plant succumbs to it, the leaves become chlorotic and yellow and start to die back. Looking more closely at this leaf, you can see that the uh, chlorotic patches tend to be bound by the veins of the leaf. And so you get this sort of stained glass appearance. Um, if you flip the leaf over, you get sort of the clear telltale indication that it is downy mildew, which is this black downy sporulation on the underside of the leaf. Um, there are a lot of foliar diseases out there, um, all of which are challenging in their own way and all of which can tend to look a little bit like each other, um, but downy mildew is pretty much the only cucumber disease that's going to cause this on the underside of the leaf. This variety that we're looking at here that is especially susceptible is lemon cucumber, which is a popular heirloom. A lot of home gardeners love this variety. Um, it is uh, you know, very unique and unfortunately very susceptible to this disease. Um, we're starting here so that you can see what can happen when the disease first arrives. Uh, we detected downy mildew in our trial only a week ago, and you can already see how much it's progressed. And uh, as we move on to some of the resistant varieties that Johnny's offers, you can see how different the plant health will be as we go through. So here is our variety Gateway, which is a monaceous slicing cucumber that was bred specifically for it resistance against downy mildew and for field production. Uh, the fruit should be harvested between seven and nine inches, and as you can see here, are nice, uniform, dark green, very straight, and hold up well against cucumber beetle feeding damage, which is a pretty big issue for us here in the Northeast. Looking at the plant itself, uh, the foliage is much uh, healthier, much darker green, verdant, and holding its own against the disease much better than our susceptible check. The resistance, while very strong, is not perfect, and you can see there are some lesions starting to develop on the leaves, and over time, without any intervention, downy mildew will eventually kill this plant, but it's going to take a lot longer, and you'll have a much longer harvest window while it happens. Here is Chaperon, which is our pickling cucumber with downy mildew resistance. Similar to Gateway, it is a variety that's very prolific. Um, it's high yielding. The fruit are uniform and uh, attractive. The plant here is holding up about as well as Gateway. Uh, it has, I would say, about equally strong resistance to downy mildew. Uh, again, it's not perfect, and you can see there are some small lesions starting in the plants, um, but it's still significantly better than the variety that we saw before without resistance. One of the real benefits to growing these resistant varieties is if you are a 
home gardener or a farmer who really wants to limit the amount of chemicals that they're spraying, these resistances are going to buy you a lot of time before the disease eventually kills the plant. Um, right now, you can see there are honeybees pollinating all of these flowers and trying to limit the amount that we uh, spray is beneficial for these pollinators. I hope this video has shown the importance of adequate resistance to downy mildew. For those of you who struggle with this disease, please do try some of these varieties in your home garden or fields next season.